Hi everyone, happy holidays. The year is coming to an end, which can mean lots of gift giving, family visits and celebrations. Are you having trouble waiting for Christmas? We have a story here to help you pass the time. It's called Waiting for Christmas. Here we go. Rimi thought the Christmas tree was beautiful. It had twinkling lights, sparkling tinsel and lots of baubles on it. It even had a nice little decoration that Rimi had made herself on it. She was very proud. But Rimi was most interested in the presents underneath the Christmas tree. He stared at the presents. R-E-M-Y. Rimi. This present was for her, but she wasn't allowed to open it yet. She had to wait until Christmas. There were other presents under the tree with her name on them as well. And she couldn't open those either. She had to wait five more sleeps until Christmas. She had promised her parents. Five more sleeps, that was forever away. But she had to wait. They were gonna open all their presents together as a family. But maybe she could just take a little peek. Rimi reached out her hand and touched one of the presents. Suddenly, her sister appeared in the room out of nowhere and said, don't Rimi, you have to wait. Rimi went all red. She was caught. She mumbled, I was only looking. Her sister said, well, make sure you only look. You don't want your presents to disappear, do you? And then her sister left the room. Disappear? What did that mean? Rimi had no idea. She thought it might be a trick. Her sister often played tricks on her, but what if she was telling the truth? Rimi thought about it as she brushed her teeth and got ready for bed. She thought about it all through her bedtime story, and she thought about it as she was falling asleep. That night, she even dreamed about it. Rimi dreamed that she crept down the stairs while her family was sleeping. She made it all the way to the Christmas tree. In front of her was a big present it cried out to her. It said, open me. Rimi reached out her hand and opened the present. But before she could see what was inside, all the other presents started running away. Rimi cried, wait, wait, wait. Rimi woke with a start. She ran down to the Christmas tree and checked that all the presents were still there. They were. Phew. Rimi's mum walked by and said, just four more sleeps to go, Rimi, then we'll open the presents. Four more sleeps. Rimi counted on her fingers. One, two, three, four. <sighs> she could do it. She knew she could do it. There were just four more sleeps to go and then she could open her presents and they wouldn't disappear. Rimi kept herself busy. She helped her parents tidy up she did lots of colouring and she even baked Christmas cookies with her sister. She was so busy, it didn't feel like waiting. Finally, the day came. The family gathered around the Christmas tree and opened all their presents. Not one of them disappeared. Rimi loved her gifts. Her parents called her over and they said, Rimi, you've been waiting so patiently, so guess what? we have an extra gift for you. Rimi couldn't believe it. Not only did her presents not disappear, she even got one extra. All that waiting was worth it. That was our Christmas story, Waiting for Christmas. What did you think? Are you like Rimi and can't wait to open your presents? There are lots of great ways for you to pass the time, like ABC and counting games, activity worksheets, and lots, lots more. You can find links on all of our social media accounts and lots of fun educational games in our apps. Beanie Bambini wishes you the happiest of holidays and a very Merry Christmas. Learn, laugh and stay safe these holidays. Bye!